Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And it is time to do the showcase for the next Octogram, well not Octogram I guess, but the next Demon Lord, technically. Uh, Dagrel, the Proud Giant Fist. Just released in the game, our first time getting him in the game, so... I did a kit overview, so I will just very briefly go over what he does. He is a single target physical light unit, obviously. His first skill is the Benimaru Orb Steel, alongside boosting his own damage on souls by up to 5%. His second skill is a light resistance decrease by 35%. And then his trait is when you send a 6 combo of greens, you increase your pierce power by 10%. So all three of these things are going to be something that we showcase in this video, especially this 10% pierce power as a support for Shion, since we all know she runs on pierce power. So very, very, very brief overview. Let's go ahead and dive in first with everyone's favorite, the Big Daddy Damage Test. So I will see you guys in there. Alright, so here we are for our just initial damage test of his ult unboosted by anything but the trait. So let's see how much damage we do on this single ult. Uh, probably won't see it. Oh, we will see it. Okay. The first time we've used it today. Alright, so we are get Super Saiyan. <laughs> Breaking the limit. Final Explosion, or Giant Wrath, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Remember, it's a physical attack. 13,000 damage right there. That's pretty good. 13,000. Let's come back when we have everything fully boosted up. Okay, we are back. Now we are fully boosted. So Dagrel has the 120% alt damage right here. He's also got, you know, the pretty standard stuff. He's got the trait, he's got attack up from Riemru, space Riemru for 40%, he's got guaranteed crit, he's got the light attack boost by 50%. He also has lowered the light resistance of the enemy, so by 35%, so we'll do, you know, a little bit extra damage. Now the only thing that I have, that I did not uh, get a chance because we don't have enough points is that his orb steal, right, increases own soul's damage by up to 5%. Will that stack onto the ultimate orb? I actually don't know, and I don't have enough points, so... Um, we will have to see later on. I'll just kind of tack it on probably in the beginning of the next part. But let's go ahead and send this. We did about 12k on the first hit, so I'm thinking this is going to do about... He's only 84, probably about 80. Somewhere around 80. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> 102, oh, fuck my 80%, right, now we're getting protection gauge increase, he's got the trait, okay, uh, 180, or 100k, good start, uh, I'll figure out if that small little boost stacks on top of the alt, and I'll see you very shortly. Okay, I just kept going in the predator battle until we had enough points to use everything. So we have used the alt boost again, and we have also used Dagrel's uh, orb steel, therefore we have the extra 3.8% attack boost, or damage boost on the orb. However, on the alt, that is not there. So his per damage per soul orb does not count for the alt. You only get, you know, the, the alt damage increase. So just a good thing to keep note of. Uh, when using a skill, you will not increase his damage output on his alt by using that skill. Just for funsies. And increasing like a 6 card send of him, which I don't know why you would, because you're going for other units 6 card sends. So, let's now actually move on to the next section of the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and take him into our first real battle. We're going to go into Crucible 70 versus Diablo. Um, someone with a little bit higher defense than, like, Crucible 100, but it's still a battle. And Dagrel is, in the end of the day, still a support unit. Like, it's great that he has a single target ult, but he's not here for, like, pure damage. That's what Shion's for. That's what Gazel is for. And by having Dagrel, you will enhance your capability 
for um, DPS output because of the orb steel. So let's see if we can get a good hand starting out where we can immediately use the orb steel and then bring in Shion. Just like we would for Benimaru, for any other team where you would want to run Benimaru. Now, Benimaru and Hakuro work so well together because the orb steel and then Benimaru's second skill boosting oranges, which Hakuro makes oranges. Dagrul orb steals and then lowers light resistance. So we will also see how how effective that will be here. Um, okay, we almost got it. Let's see if we can pull one more Rimuru card in next, and then we can go ahead and bring Dagrel in turn two. And a counter, because why not? <laughs> you want to counter this one too? No. We also didn't pull in another Rimuru card, so I'm going to burn Rimuru's and we'll see if we can pull more hero cards, because that's always how our luck ends up going, isn't it? Okay, there, okay, there we go. Alright, so how many points do we have here? We have 53 points. So, let's go ahead and use Dagrel. Bring him in for the hero. We're going to use the Orb Steel for 25 points. It also boosts his own damage by 3.8%, remember, that we found out did not apply to alt orbs. And it's also not going to apply here, because I'm not sending six orbs of Ga or Dagrel. That's not his point. I'm here to do this. And now send a six card of Shion, who I'm going to use uh, her own skill. And we're going to use Shizu. And it's not, you know, it's not buffed up. We've used one skill so far. But it's still an attack boost, 75% chance to pierce, and then pierce power. So let's go ahead and see how lucky we get on this send. One, two, three, okay, we pierced everything. <laughs> All right, 75% coming in clutch. I mean, yeah, that's half his health bar right there in one, oh, okay. That, <laughs> that works as well. So now here, we can have a little bit more fun, and I'm going to actually bring Dagrel in for Shion. And then I'm going to steal orbs again, and then we will go ahead and send a 6 card of Dagrel and compare the damage. Now he doesn't have the pierce on, so I mean, we're it's not going to be completely fair. He doesn't give himself pierce power, he doesn't give himself, you know, anything of that. We do have now a trait on Diablo that is Pierce Resistance by 6, but again, we're not piercing with Dagrel. Um, let's go ahead and use his Light Resistance down then, and increase his DPS a little bit. A little bit. So we have 3.8 on every orb, Light Resistance down by 35%. How much damage do you do here? 4,000. And a counter. And then his final hit does probably like 9? 10? 8.6. Okay, not as high as I was thinking. That's good to know. Alright, so we still have the trait active. And then we also have the trait from here, for, I think from Shizu, just the attack increase by 6%. Okay, so let's go ahead and give him Pierce now. And we'll see if we can finish off Diablo just using Dagrel here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and lower the pierce resistance, increase our damage, and then decrease his light resistance as well. So we've got three, well, one buff and two debuffs going now. We'll see how much damage the normals do. I want to see how much his normal normal. Eh, no, we'll see how much it is. So 8600 is what we hit last time with the 200% boost. What do we get with this now? 200% is now doing 19.7, and we crit as well. Okay, well, I don't know what his natural crit chance is, but it's got to be low. All right, so we're going Majin Vegeta again. Super Saiyan Final Explosion. <laughs> God, that would really hurt your eyes if you were just staring at your phone in the middle of the night. 29.3, uh, and it did not kill. Interesting. Okay, well, he can certainly finish it off here, though. Boop! Okay, so 
there we got a little bit taste of his orb stealing once for you know himself and then once for what you would actually want to use it for which is bringing in your main dps which is Xion. Um, so we got a little bit of a taste of that we also used his light debuff here um i don't know we crit there so it's kind of unfortunate that's not quite of a fair test let's go into conquest now and we'll try him out in ex conquest all right, let's try this again and make this entire, entire conquest video dedicated to Dagrul. <laughs> right? Yes, I. Yes, he is a support, and he is meant to do other things for other units. However, I do want to showcase, you know, how well he can actually work, and that is not the hand that I wanted to see. Okay, game, come on, come on. We'll send these, and we'll get a counter. Will we have the power to kill here, though? Because we're going to get stunned here. All right. So I guess we can just burn one card. Yeah, we can burn the one Rimuru card, I guess. This will most definitely get us Dagrel's ult next turn, because these oranges will not be nerfed again on turn four. And you know what? For funsy onesies, let's go ahead. Will we have enough points for that? We do. Okay, so let's use the Rewind for fun. That way we get, you know, an extra turn, quote-unquote. We'll bring Dagrel in, and then we will steal for that full send. We will definitely get his ult. We've got, you know, our damage up by 3.8% from his orbs. Extra protection gauge. I want to get this first, though. Like, I could, or I could change with Shizu, but I want the ult. So, let's do this. Okay, of course he guards two of the hits. That's cool, whatever. That's fine, just fine. 6,500 damage. Alright. So he's just floating at about, you know, two-thirds, maybe a little bit less than that. We get one orb for him. That, you know what, that is fine. We'll go ahead and use Shizu. Get a full hand. And then we'll see how much damage he does here now if he pierces which it looks like we probably will uh so 60 68 versus 76 okay that's pretty good damage we get two alts here now one with rimuru one with dagrel so now let's go ahead we have a hundred points to play with incoming stun like we're gonna kill here obviously he doesn't have that much health left so let's go ahead and full orb change We'll use the light Leon buff, we'll use the light D buff, and then we'll use the pierce resistance down. And what's this one? Green damage up by 15%? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll use four skills right here. We have exactly enough points for it. And I want to send one dagger and then the ult and see if that is enough to kill. And then if it's not, then we'll just follow up with everything else. But I'm fairly confident we will. How much will this normal attack do? This one green. 10.6, that's a lot of damage right there. And then 41,000. I would, yeah, I would call that pretty good. I mean, that's not an unrealistic turn. You know, it's 100 skill points, and if you're having, you know, six card sends of Shizu, then you're not really going to be hurting for skill points. So, okay, so he can do decent damage by himself while being a supporter. You know, orb stealing for Shizu, or for Shion, or Gazel debuffing with the light resistance down definitely has a few things to do and thankfully his skills are low cost and so you can use them early on in the fight therefore buffing up Xion's power so let's move on now to another stage I think the final stage all right the last section of the video and we actually got a perfect starting hand for Dagrel. we're in tempered edge ex two not three but two and we like i said we have a perfect starting hand so let's go ahead and use him as he's meant to be used like the showcase for him we did it in conquest where we used him as dps and now we're going to use them strictly as normal people would and that is support so this is going to be the Shion show but dagger's going to help us get there so we're going to bring him in for the hero use the steel and now we're going to bring in Shion for Dagrel. 
We're going to send this entire hand on herself. Handfuls of Shion everywhere. 56 points, full protection meter, and we're looking pretty good on turn one. Turn one. Not difficult to get here, though. Okay. That's why we don't hit Shinsha first, is because she's going to defense and tank, and I'm not worried about her DPS. I'm more worried about Xion's DPS. And we got... Wow, we got a pretty good hand here. So, let's do some fun stuff, alright? Let's go ahead and use the skill point increase, the damage increase, and then the... Let's use this one. Actually, let's use all four, right? Let's use all four, why not? Okay. So we've got 20% skill point increase, 15% attack boost on greens. We're gonna use Shizu here. We're already up to 95% pierce rate, and I believe that is 40% pierce power, I think, if we were to use Shion skill, yeah, 40%. So only on turn two, still looking good. Let's go ahead and use... Shizu here, or... No, let's bring Daggerl back, actually. Let's bring Daggerl back. And then we'll use Shizu. Get a full hand of greens that are boosted all the way across. And we're gonna send this again. And we'll have Daggerl hit that final hit. We'll have another Shizu meter. 88 skill points. We're gonna rewind next turn for fun. All right, how much does this final hit do with all this boosts on? Mmm, 10.7. It's pretty good. Okay. All right. That hand is okay. Actually, it's more than okay because we're going to go ahead and do some rewindy action. Right? Yes. So we're going to bring you in for... Daggerl, since you have no cards whatsoever, so it makes no difference. So this will get us the 100% pierce rate for Xion, so we don't really have to do anything else. We could. We could send another skill. We could bring, um, well, we just used Daggerl, so that's eh, whatever. We get, at least have guaranteed pierce now. So let's go ahead and use the rewind. All right. We will go ahead and Ooh, not bring Xion in. I probably should have used her first. Okay, it's whatever. We're still going to do a crap ton of damage. So we'll use Shizu. Get another full six card send. We'll send Leon, Leon, Rimu, Rimu, Rimu. Triple ult right here. I think I would have been okay, actually. Oh well. Alright. Alright. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to get just enough to get another Shizu meter. And then we're going to try and kill Xion with just normal attacks, and then nuke the crap out of uh, Shinsha, and call it good on turn 4. So here, let's see... I think I'm going to take the light boost, actually. So let's bring Daggerl in for Leon. Or no, for the hero. Yeah, we're going to use the light boost. So here we go. Let's go ahead and use his debuff now. So light resistance on everybody. And now we will bring in Xion. We have triple alt. So now let's use the... Light power up, and then her buff, 30% and 43% pierce power. I'll be very surprised. You know what? Actually, we're not going to be surprised, because we're piercing guaranteed here. We have three alts, turn four. This is not terribly difficult to do. So now, I'm going to send these three on Xion, and then we're going to send the rest of the alts on Shinsha, and I think we can easily clean up here. So, boost, boost. How much does Shion do on 200% with all this stuff? She does 30, 32,000 damage. <laughs> and her ult 
71.9. Half her HP, though. I actually thought she would do more. Rimaru is gonna throw some wedding bands at his daughter? And then propose? This is getting some to some Alabama territory right here. 31,000. We don't actually kill. Interesting. 16,000. She's gonna heal up quite a bit now. Oh, she didn't heal. Awesome. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. What do I want to do here? Don't really have a lot of skill points to use. Yeah, we just have triple Leon, which I would rather have, like, triple um, Sheon, and then we could probably kill. Let's go ahead and send Leon. Yeah, that's not doing too much. All right, so we're killing on turn six, maybe, unless she heals. No, no heal. Okay. So let's go ahead and use her buff again. And now I think we'll be okay to kill here. We could send four Rimrus, but I want to do this instead. So let's see if this kills. This does not kill, because we don't have guaranteed pierce. And there's oh, so much healing. Of course. Why wouldn't she? Okay. Well, you get the idea that Dagger is here for his debuffs, right? You know, I probably could have sent that last sixth card on Shinsha instead, and the AoE would have killed. Misplays all around. It is what it is. Let's see... Let's just finish this out. It's gonna be like a decent video right here, right? Probably around 25 minutes. Okay. Um... Yeah, sure, that works. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. Double alt with Rimuru. So now, this turn, we can use the crit boost from the hero. Yes, crit boost from the hero. Bring in, take out Leon. So that, we don't have enough to use um, Xion's skill because we've used it again already. But we can definitely lower the pierce resistance still. So let's go ahead and activate both of those. We're going to have guaranteed pierce. So I think we'll be okay. Think being the keyword. So while we're finishing this up, overall thoughts on Daggeral, um, just using him on initially between now and the uh, summon uh, stream, is that he's an okay unit. I definitely would not consider him a requirement. He does have one extra trait, or one extra skill that we did not showcase here today. We're going to do it in a separate video. And that is giving Xion an extra 10% pierce power as a supporter. So that'll be a separate video. So I think that could be very useful. But that by itself, I don't think warrants people summoning for him. Because if you already have Earth Benimaru, you're going to be just fine. Because most of the time you're running Hakuro anyways, and that 30% uh, damage boost to orange and 35% um, gauge increase or whatever flipped around those are, I think that is much more useful than his light resistance down. The orb stealing is nice and having a light unit that can orb steal is definitely useful, but we already have a unit that does it, so it's just kind of like a luxury, not a requirement for this team. But let me know what you guys thought about Dagrel's use overall on this new light meta. What do you think of him? Do you think he's necessary? If you did pull him, how much did it take? And how are you getting about using him? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.